today I'm going to show you a customizing glitch for a couple vehicles. And this one is for the rat loader now. Where you can find this one is in the Shandy Shores area. That's where it mainly spawns. And this one is how to remove, which of course it's the only one for it, but how to remove the bed. And what you can do is, of course, you can change to any of the beds, but the bottom one is the best. And then go through the menu real fast, click on that one, get off. Sometimes you have to get back on, but sometimes it instantly installs it with no bed. And there you go, now it has no bed at all. And the funniest thing about it having no bed is, is this right here. Let me pull over right here and let me show you. Like, you can actually walk through the wheels and the frame and all. Now, I had a modder friend, he said that was actually a option to remove the bed, but they decided to get rid of it last moment. And next, I'm going to show you the Rusty Rebel and how to remove the roll bar on the back of it. And the Rusty Rebel. Now, one thing you need to know, you need to grab the one with overhead lights on the roll bar because the one without overhead lights, all it does is add overhead lights when you do this glitch. So it needs to be the one with the overhead lights already on it. But how you do this one is it's basically the same as the as the uh, rat loader. You go to beds, and then you kind of switch through the menu real quick. You try to click on, like I spam the X button until I check the top list. And then you go back in, and there you go. And I recommend that you use this garage, or the garage in, uh, or the garage in, Gr in the, uh, Grand Snore Desert. Because, for some reason, this garage does it very well, and this garage does it very well. But if you go to the downtown Los San if you go to this garage... Or, where's that other one? Or if you go to this garage, it doesn't work for some reason. It only works at these two garages. Okay, this is how to customize motorcycles. Now, this is only for story mode. But this is how to customize dirt bikes with custom rims. And that's about all with custom rims. And, of course, that horses them up and all that. Like, I already have the upgrade bike right here. But... All you need to do is get a hold of a Sanchez or whatever bike you're trying to customize. Like, even, it even works on mopads. And all you need to do is take it to water and eat 2D. Because normally, people say this only works on cars, but it works on motorcycles too. But the other two glitches, they work online. But this glitch it only works in story mode, of course. Not so you know a modern. What you do is you pull it into the water. You have to wait for the engine to get. You have to wait for the engine to drown. And this water might not be deep enough. Let me try this one right here. There we go. Switch to another character. Now, when you switch to another character, you have to count 10 seconds. Because otherwise, it, it doesn't work very well. Hey! You see my face, amigo? Re fucking memory, I'm your goddamn boss! Okay, a little bit of explosive content right there. <laughs> Music. And now I'll switch to Trevor. And as you see, it. Okay, as you can see, it has customized rims. Now I'm going to show you something else cool that you can do with the rims when you get in Los Angeles Customs. Hard. You can actually change the color of the rims. As you can see, the lip on the carbon fiber rims are changing. Like, I'm just going to change them to red. And, of course, you could put bulletproof tires on it. 
and you can change the color of the tire smoke. And everything's customized. Everything that was off that one bike I was riding before is all on this bike. Or everything. That's all I really have for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.